Sawyer, one of the things that you could be better at, not just attacking the line of scrimmage, but to make a decision that, that gets you gone before the blocker can ever get on you. And you'll see some examples where you did good at that and sometimes where you're too slow to read and then the blocker has a chance to engage you and you're too far off the line of scrimmage. But uh, anyway, you continue to get better. This first play right here, I, I, you know, point and movement and barking out occasionally uh, creates confusion for the offense. So, um, you know, these two guys are in motion. Sometimes the official might not catch it, but, you know, when you see two guys in, in motion, you definitely can uh, holler and point. And sometimes when you bark, they may jump off sides. We've got motion. Step up towards the line of scrimmage and get in there and help us make a play. And that's coming forward. You, at least you're on the line of scrimmage. But this next one, you need to be a better 45 into the line of scrimmage. And you know what I mean by that. See right there, just a little bit better angle and you would have made that play on the line of scrimmage. It's a good thought and you're moving forward. And you did that well at times and sometimes you didn't. This one ripped through that outside shoulder and make the play on the line of scrimmage, not three yards downfield. So here you rip right through his shoulder and then make the play back on the line of scrimmage. That's a good play, but it'd be better if you'd have just ripped right through his outside shoulder and attacked the line of scrimmage. Tough play, nobody home on the backside. But you keep running to the football because right here, you know, you stop him one yard. This isn't a great play, but your penetration keeps him from having a running lane. So watch how you attack a line of scrimmage right here. Get in there. And so everybody's got so much penetration, he cuts back, but there's no place to go. Another goal line play. Attack. A little more attack on that line of scrimmage. Now come up and help us right here. Don't let him get in the end zone. Uh, overrun it just a little bit. Play through his outside shoulder. Here's another one. A great goal line stand. Attack the line of scrimmage. Come forward and attack right here. Great play by you guys. Good gang tackling. One more time. Fourth down. And then just surging, staying low, and not allowing any push by the offensive line. And so that goal line stand turns into a 99-yard touchdown run. This play, you get in, you got in, you got to get into the line of scrimmage. You got to get up into the line of scrimmage. Let's see your angle. You, you see those blockers right there, kind of pushing you out. I mean, you got to get into the line of scrimmage. This is a good tackle right here, but again, we got to get a good attack angle into the line of scrimmage. See how you skate sideways, get off of him, and then come back. You make a good tackle, but it's seven yards downfield. This is a good job in that you filled the hole. I love it when you come forward, attack a line of scrimmage. Even if you don't make a play, fill the hole. Come forward, come forward, get up in there, bam, that's how you do it. See that tackle trying to come? You're already gone before he has a chance to get on you. You got to be quick to read, quick to decide, and then attack. Right here, you should have went through his uh, uh, outside shoulder and, and, and got just a little more penetration, but, you know, help on the tackle. It's not a bad play right there. Uh, this is finally, this is you on the punt. I mean, you can always find somebody like this on the punt. But what you knock this guy on his keister. There you go. There you find him. Boom! <laughs> That'll look good in film room. This is behind the line of scrimmage. This is where you make tackles in the backfield. Let's see how quick you read and get there. See, you're coming forward right on the snap, and then bam, get up in there, and you're in part of the tackle. Behind the line of scrimmage. I mean, that's where you guys got to make plays. If, if they get four and five yards of play, that's moving the chains. 
rip through his outside shoulder and get there. You, you maintain your outside leverage. I actually like that. Get up in the line of scrimmage. See how you engage that tackle right there? You got to get up into the line of scrimmage. That way there's no cutback lanes. And then help us push and drive a guy back at the end. Either fill the hole or get off a block. So right here is a good example. You either got to come forward and stick that guy and push him back. Or you need to spin and get off of him. But you cannot play and be dancing with him right there. So you got to either be in the hole or getting out of the hole. This is uh, attack the outside shoulder. Maintaining your outside leverage. So you come inside and uh, give a, a running lane right there. That lead blocker, you got to attack his outside shoulder. Keep your outside shoulder free. Here's side skating, but you're keeping your outside shoulder free. And there again, a second time, keeping your outside shoulder free. And even if he gets by right there, you've got him turned back inside. That was a good job. Pass. You find that guy, you're right there with him, know where he's at, get your head on a swivel. And then right there, you know, run to the football. This is a bad angle. You you got to get into the line of scrimmage. So here you are attacking, and then now you're going backwards six or seven yards. Yeah. I mean, you should have been 45 up into the line of scrimmage. You're down there, you got two guys blocking on you. It's because your first angle was back. Here you are into the line of scrimmage. Now, make a good wrap up right there. Good tackle. Here you are getting wide. Outside shoulders free. And then he turns back up inside and you got help. Uh, this is attack at the line of scrimmage. I really like this play. So let's see how quick you read it. See, you're coming forward, you're attacking, you slip through the blocker before he can even get there, and then you help make a tackle right there. But it's because you, you got gone before the blocker could get to you. I mean, you got to make quick decisions at linebacker and then attack at line of scrimmage. This is a tough decision. Either attack into the line of scrimmage or not. And... Um, You see motion, you're stepping up, and now, now right now you got to go 45 up into the line of scrimmage. Instead, you took a pursuit angle. There's just a hesitant right there of about a thousand and one that kept you from being able to attack up. You might could have made that play. You got to get out here a little bit quicker, Big Daddy. It's two plays in a row they try to hit this flat route, and I know that's not your play per se. But once you read pass, get to your right there. Get there. Get your head on a swivel, find the guy in your zip code, and get there. Now help us polish this guy off. <laughs> Fall on his head anyway. Uh, once offside right here, you're blitzing from the outside top of the screen. You, you guys jumped offside, or they did right before that, and so this guy could find you. What I would have probably done is sugared like I was going to come on an inside blitz since they already knew you were coming from the outside. And you could have confused them. I mean, you, you did the same thing twice. But, you know, sometimes sugar it after you gave away your blitz. This is attack up into the line of scrimmage. Now, you're right there with them, but that's because you're attacking line of scrimmage. This is good attack to the line of scrimmage, but your angle needs to be just a little bit better. Here you are coming forward. Get by that blocker. And see, it's just a, a, just a little bit slow, and the angle's just a little bit wide. Right here is a great job. Go on before the blocker can get you. Look how quick that blocker is going to get you. You already gone. Bam. Up into the line of scrimmage. Got to make a play and finish off right there. But the one thing that I liked about it, of course you got up and helped us. But the one thing I like is you were gone before the blocker could get there. I mean, that's what you got to be better at. You know, you, you, you're doing a lot of things better. But that's another one to grow on. Right here, get up in that line of scrimmage. See how you get right there. You got to go through that line of scrimmage and get up in there. But it's a good job of helping out on the play.
come forward now read pass now turn and run to the daggone football um, I'll have to say last week you probably accelerated to the football better than you did this week but you made a lot bigger plays this week too good job come up in there and help us keep working not bad it takes more than one. Step. Now get up in there and keep your outside shoulder free. Pass. But that's a good attack angle to the line of scrimmage. Get your head on a swivel. If, if I head on the swivel, you can at least find a guy that's in your zip code. And you would see that, the, hey, there's only one guy in this area. I need to kind of stay in his area. Attack a line of scrimmage. Right there is just a little bit too far off. You know, once you read it, you got to be gone. See, you're too far off right there. You got to get up in there. And, and still you guys had it hemmed up. This is a good skate, but then you got to attack with a good 45 angle into the line of scrimmage. Let's watch you take a slide step. Right here you slide step. Now go towards the line of scrimmage right there. And you would have tackled him about right there. Instead, he's going to get another 5 or 6 yards. You could have got there. I know you don't feel that necessarily, but you could have. Good. 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 Fumble. Let's get on the ball. This is good, but make sure you tackle just a little bit lower. A couple of times you're a little bit high on, on these big backs, but anyway, this is a good play. You read it. You're gone before the blocker can get there. And then, bam. A little lower there. Get gone. You got to be gone before the blocker can get on you. Look right here. Let's see how slow we are to read. We're reading. We're reading. We're reading. And now the blocker's on us. Man, we should have already been gone and up in that line of scrimmage. And of course, you're coming with a pursuit angle. But, man, once you read it, you could have got there. And see right here, when you're on the line of scrimmage, there's no cutback lane. Let's watch how you attack a line of scrimmage right here. So you're coming forward. Now coming up in the hole. Bam. There just ain't no place for the guy to run. And that's a good play. Pass. Head on a swivel. Following his eyes. Now run to the football. We may need you right there. You ain't in full gear. This is a good attack angle. Let's watch how quick you read and get up in the line of scrimmage. Get up in there. Bam. That's great attack angle. I love this. Not because you made a play, but watch how you explode through this blocker's outside shoulder. Keeping your outside shoulder free. I love this. Watch you. You read it. Now come up in there. Good attack. There's a blocker. Boom. Boom. Play through his outside shoulder, but that's how you just run right through him. You're a bulldozer at linebacker. Get there. There's a little cutback lane. We got to attack a line of scrimmage. We're just a little soft right here. This is awesome. This is a big play. You attack an outside shoulder. Attacking a line of scrimmage. Let's see you right here. You read it real quick. Your outside shoulder's free, and then boom, up into the line of scrimmage. Great play right there. Big play. And then another big play to finish right here. This is, an, this is another awesome play. Come up in the line of scrimmage. Fill the hole. Boom. Then was back-to-backs. That was a big stand right there. You had penalties, and you back up against the wall. So uh, there you are wrapping up. Um, another good game, Sawyer. There's things that you keep getting better at. The one thing that you weren't as good this week as you were last week was running to the football and helping to finish off. The one thing that you could be better at right here 
is making a quick decision and attacking the line of scrimmage before that blocker can get on you. Um, the guys that I played against that, that were what I call great linebackers, D1 linebackers, uh, they were gone before I could get there, no matter what type of step or what type of angle. That's how quick they read it and how much they attacked the line of scrimmage. Another good game, Sawyer, getting better each week.